it's Laura and I have a great recipe for you today. This is gonna, going to become one of your staples. I just know it. You're gonna love it as much as I do. And I also wanna thank my friend Alyssa for sharing this recipe with me. So thank you, Alyssa. Super simple, I'm gonna show you what we have here today. We have one zucchini and I cut them in really thin slices. Mushrooms, these are I think portobello, little baby portobellas, a red pepper cut up into strips. Sweet potato, one sweet potato cut really, really thin, as thin as you can slice it. Spinach, and this is chopped up fresh basil because it smells so good, and fresh mozzarella cheese that I cut up into slices and tomato sauce. That's it. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, Laura, this is so simple. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to take our thin sliced zucchini and we're going to put them down in our pan. Mine are fitting the long way. I'm going to just kind of arrange them like that. And you might have uh, leftover zucchini. The whole zucchini might not even fit, but we're going to put everything in there. So there we did the zucchini. I'm going to put down a little sauce on top of that. Just kind of sprinkle it on. Don't have to cover everything. Then we're going to take the sweet potatoes and take those rounds and just place them all over. Again, really, really thin with this sweet potato because that's the thing in here that takes the longest to cook. So if you make them too thick, it's just going to take longer to cook. That's all. So the thinner, the better. Here we go. So beautiful already. We've got our sweet potato, our zucchini, we've put some sauce. Now we're gonna take the beautiful red pepper and put it in. Go just, just place that on there. It's so colorful. Then we're going to take our mushrooms. Oh, got one more red pepper. We're just gonna put the mushrooms on top like so. See how simple? You can do this at home, right? So, so simple. Let me move these out of the way. Then I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on, just a little here and there. Not too saucy, but we're gonna put it in. Yeah, let's put the rest of the sauce on here. Let's do that. All right, now we're going to take the fresh spinach, and I'm gonna put the basil in there, and we'll just mix it all up together, and just put it right on top. There it goes. Ooh, this is looking so, so beautiful. All right, and it smells so good. Fresh basil, oh, nothing like fresh basil to make a dish really, really delicious. Using spices, uh, it's herbs and spices. So now we're just gonna put down the mozzarella on top, like so. So, you know what, I'm gonna put a little bit more. I knew I might need a little more sauce. This is from Trader Joe's. I can't find the thing to open the sauce. So I guess I'll have to use my muscles. Of course, you can always make your own sauce. I'm gonna actually pour some sauce on top of, yep, we should have poured a little sauce on top of the spinach. So we're just gonna lift up the mozzarella really quick. Okay, there we go. Now we've got some sauce on top. And we'll finish putting our fresh mozzarella on here. My hands are all saucy now. And that's it. Let me get a towel. That is so, so simple. I've warmed up the oven already at 350. I'm gonna bring it over here so you guys can see. Isn't that gorgeous? How beautiful that is. So super easy. We're gonna put it in the oven and let it cook 35, 45 minutes. You're gonna to have to test the sweet potato to see if it's done. That's really the key, but other than that, that's it. It's delicious. Let me know how you like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a like. And also come visit me at laurelunnanfitness.com where I have all sorts of great things for you guys. I've got workouts, I've got recipes, 
I've got interviews, lots of stuff going on at Laura London Fitness. Come join me there. I'm gonna get ready to eat soon, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. So now we're just gonna let this cook for 35 to 45 minutes, take it out, let it sit and cool for five, 10 minutes, and it's ready to serve. You are gonna be so excited because this is so, so delicious. I made this uh, for my mom and she absolutely loved it. All right, everybody, I will see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.